Virtual Groom. My name is Jackie Host, and today I'm bringing another shaving video, and this time it's from New York. Um, it's not my usual bathroom settings, you can see, and I hope the sound is okay. I'm actually doing this in the front facing camera, so it's a, it's a little bit different. Um, I've been to Pasteur's pharmacy during this journey, and I have to say, they have a very, very good stock of wet shaving gear. Like, you'll never need to. You know, if you have that locally, you don't really need anything else. I bought this, and this is what we're going to use today. This is 19, well, this is Wickham Soap Co. Cashmere. Um, the scents on this, or the scent notes on this, are bergamot, basil, oak moss, and patchouli. The, I, I guess the result of scenting out ends up being a really calming aroma. It's quite clean as well. It's very, very nice scent. I'm, I'm, I'm actually yet to use one of their soaps, although, you know, I'm from England, etc. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, my razor of choice is what I take to travel. And this is the Christopher Bradley in Brass. This actually is a 3.5 inch Argyle handle. Um, only three or four of them are made, I think, and I have one of them. And my brush. I don't bring natural hair brushes when I travel either. This is my Wolf Whiskers Zen Garden Knot. A couple other things to show you. I have a thing behind me, so let me reach for it. When I do travel, I have quite a large kind of wide dot kit. Um, I just shove my brushes in here. Um, basically, whenever you buy a brush from a vendor, they tend to send you a kind of one of these tubes. It's a good way to protect the, boat, the brush in transit. And my razor, whenever I ship that, or, you know, whenever I travel with a razor, I use this guy. This is Carve Shaving Co's Razor Armor. This thing is fucking badass. It's really good. Um, inside this, you can fit a razor, a pack of blades, and an extra plate. I didn't need the extra plate, and to be honest, my plate's got... My, my blades got taken away from me. Like an idiot, I put them in my... I put them in my check bag, but I didn't check my bag early enough, so they got confiscated. But yeah, this this stuff, uh, the foam is made out of uh, high-grade polyurethane, which means, basically, it's not going to deteriorate. Um, this, this foam will last you a lifetime. And this material is very, very sturdy, and it's fantastic. So... Let's get to shaving, shall we? And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do what we need to do. So let me take my glasses off. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna load first. So let's get the soap ready. Yeah, so New York is a crazy place, I would say. It's pretty insane. Uh, as, as kind of as you would expect, to be honest. It's one of the craziest places I've ever been to. I've been to a few places, you know, London, Paris, etc. And it outdoes them in crazy by quite a bit. <laughs> okay, so let's get a decent lot of them here. Nothing too wild. Soap seems to load very easy. The scent on this, the scent strength on this soap is probably about, I'd say six, like a six. Oh, and yeah, seven, a six, I think is fair. Keep going. I've had a few issues on this trip um, with accommodation. Uh, our Airbnb, our initial Airbnb was a, was a disaster, honestly it was. Um, First off, the woman claimed to have a private bathroom, and I understand why people would say, oh, a private bathroom's not important. Trust me, it is. Um, if I'm gonna stay somewhere for six or seven days, I wanna have my own space and my own bathroom. And that's why I was under the impression that I was getting, and I, I didn't get that, so that went on the episode. And then I found out she wasn't living there. There were like six other people in the house sharing one bathroom. I just thought, fuck it, I don't wanna do it. So then I um, contacted Airbnb, got 
got relocated. I'm in a different place now where I am on my own. For the most part, you know, there's someone else upstairs, but I have my own bathroom. That's really all I care about. Okay, um, let's get to lathering. I loaded the brush there for about 30 seconds. The water here is cold, but it's very soft. And I shaved once already, and honestly, you, I notice a huge difference. It's a really calming aroma. It's very nice, it's very clean. First, I've not used one of these. Wash out the soap. Nice, the water's getting slightly warmer because the, the water's very cold. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do here is just grab this and this, get this out of the way, put this down here. And then we get to the lather here. So, what you hear now is actually the subway. I'm pretty close to the subway. It's not too much of a problem, to be honest, but it's noticeable. Flying lather. It won't be one of my videos about flying lather, would it? So yeah, I'm enjoying New York. It's actually my wife's birthday today, so. Got a few, we've got a few cool things planned. Um, something cool is I've tried lots and lots of great pizza. Um, the places I've been thus far are John's of Bleecker Street, which is very, very old. 1929. And that was fantastic. I've been to Print Street, which is also quite old. A bit more modern than that one, but it's still very good. Last night we went to Lucali, which for anyone that doesn't know, I believe recently got some sort of accolade to say they were the best pizzeria in the whole of the US. And I have to say, I can see why that is. It was very, very good. Absolutely everything in terms of Ingre the ingredients were just high quality. Um, the base and the crust were cooked perfectly. There wasn't a... So, so I like my pizza quite thin and crispy. And they nailed it. Like, absolutely nailed it. I'm surprised how much water, but I, I can already tell this is going to take a lot of water, honestly. It's already got quite a lot of volume. It's the soft water, I think. I'm just not used to working with this. So I'm lathering, like almost overcompensating with lather. And I mean, already. Fucking crazy, to be honest. I'm not sure if it's airy or not, but we're just gonna keep doing what we need to do with it and get it to a place where we're happy. Take some water in. This one is uh, like I've said before in my previous videos, I'm really not too bothered about the problem. It's mainly slickness. So 
gonna find to build adequate slickness, you're gonna build the you're gonna build a, a sufficient amount of volume anyway. This is possible again, like it's difficult for me to say because I have such soft water. Here specifically, but I don't have it at home. I'd love to have this water at home. Alas, I have some tireless water in the US. So, there is that. This, this thing is just chock full of lather. My first shave was with the serum. And uh, honestly, it didn't lather anything like this. We're going to keep adding a bit more water, a couple more applications, and I think we'll be ready to show. I, I just don't want to have too dry a lather. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. Christopher Bradley in brass with the really nice argyle handle. So let's get to shaving. Fantastic cushion on this soap. Well, I mean, you could see. But yeah, overall. I like New York. It's very mental. Like, uh, it's a combination of so many people in one place, which, you know, it's kind of to be expected if you're going to come here. Something I did not know. Whatever type of food you want, they have it. Um, Jamaican, African, Moroccan, Greek. And honestly, that's pretty unique. Been to other major cities in the US and not everyone has that. And uh, for me, that's kind of different. Yeah. Okay, let's get the hands wet. And we'll have a little rinse in between passes here. The towel's behind me, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Not the largest bathroom. I mean, it, it get, certainly gets the job done. Okay. The residual slickness on this is fantastic, actually. I'm very, very happy. Test. Very good. I'm impressed. The uh, remaining lather in this brush is also very good. I'll say this again, and many people could potentially disagree with me here, and that's fine, because, you know, everyone has an opinion. But... I have some very expensive natural hair, natural hair brushes, right? Very expensive, you know. Two, three hundred dollar brushes. Nothing compares to a synthetic. Um, synthetics, in terms of performance, 
outperform natural hair brushes pretty much every time. And I, I prefer the natural hair because I like the different characteristics. If you're looking for shaving and get on the go, just don't even bother. Just, just use a synthetic because I think it's better at its job. Okay. Let's get the razor ready. Okay, so we're gonna go cross grain here. Got some in my nose, which is never great. Let's do it. Honestly, it's soft water. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bang on about this. If I make another video, <laughs> I'm gonna mention the soft water. For me, it makes a lot of difference. And honestly, there's a few things. If you're one of those people that don't buy many soaps and you're looking to find certain aspects or certain soaps, I would highly recommend finding a YouTuber with hard or soft water, depending on what sort of water you have. I would say that once you have your lathering technique down, it doesn't matter quite as much, but honestly, I'm noticing a pretty considerable difference here in terms of how fast things lather. Okay, I think we're gonna stop there. I I hate irritation whilst traveling, so let's get the loose soap from the brush here. Yeah, lots of nice soap, you can see. This front facing camera has occasional frame drops, which is quite annoying. I'm using the front facing camera. Obviously, so I can see what's going on. Very nice. So I would say this is kind of the perfect consistency on the face. Okay. Drop the towel, which is never a good thing, but we saw drum. Okay, that's uh, plenty to. I'm, I'll wash out my gear here and I'll, I'll talk to you while I do it. I'm not going to be doing any of the cuts or pauses on this video. I'm literally just going to put the raw file in and we'll get done from there. Some of you may think that's lazy and I, I, I somewhat agree, but it is what it is. Okay. Yeah, the, like the. I'm surprised I've never used Wickham soaps before. Don't get me wrong, I have lots of vegetable based soaps, well, predominantly tallow based soaps. But if you're ever in a rush, like, in my opinion, a lot of the good tallow based soaps can be quite finickety. And that was the opposite of what I saw today. I mean, there, there are vegetal bases that are very, very easy to work with. Um, I'd say this one is. 
Sub Commander is very easy to work with. Dr. Johns is pretty damn easy to work with. Got this more face fat, very easy to work with. So for me, like, if you're ever in a situation where you just need to, I guess, just get out and shave. Synthetic vegetable based soap, can't really go wrong. Okay, let's uh, rinse the face and we'll get into our post shave. Water is a different level of cold to what I'm used to, I'm telling you. So, as soon as it comes into contact with my face, it shocks me a bit. <laughs> Let's actually tidy up this left side burn slightly. Wow, the residual slackness on this is very, very good. Post shave. I'd say the post shave is passable, but we're gonna be using some good products, so. This is Splash 8. This is from Zingari, and she is testing her Splash, and this specific version, number eight, is as far as I'm aware, has a few more oils, stuff like that. It's very, very good. As it stands, this is not a final product by any means. And if I know Heather, she's going to be tinkering even more. Yeah, it's very easy to apply. It's not tacky. It's not sticky. It's it, if it's not there, it's very, very almost there. So fantastic. And uh, last but not least, in our post shave, this is the Sego Balm. Uh, I believe she released this over this last weekend. So this is a final product. The difference between this and her normal balm is this is much heavier. I mean, you'll be able to see. And let's say if your skin reacts poorly to extreme heat or extreme cold, this will add a notable protective layer to the surface of your skin. And I've noticed that lasts a very, very long time. So, so that, that is what you want, honestly. It's very, very good. It's not sticky, it's not tacky again. It absorbs very quick, and that's what I look for in a bomb. Okay, let's do a recap of all these products. Um, let me get the soap lid. Okay, so our choice of soap today, after I dry off the lid. The choice of soap today was Wickham Soap Co. Cashmere, wonderful scent. I recommend it if you haven't bought it yet. Very nice. Razor was the Carve Christopher Bradley Razor and Brass 3.5 inch Argyle handle. And inside this, if I didn't say, was a second use Paul Silver. Fantastic. The brush was a Wolf Whiskers Zen Garden Custom with a 26mm Black Wolf knot. First part of the post was a splash that I think is absolutely fantastic and I can't wait till she releases a version of it. Splash 8 by Zingari Man. 
And to finish off, we had the Sego Aftershave Balm, which is perfect for traveling. It's obviously gonna come in a nicer container than this, same as the Splash, but yeah. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hopefully I can bring you another video in New York. We'll see what happens. Apart from that, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Green Room. Have a wonderful day.